Can you move a GPU using your mind? Guess not. Can you do a gaming build for 10,000 pounds? I've had a lot of people ask if I can do some super crazy high-end ultimate gaming PC. And while I could go on Amazon and just create a giant parts list and show you guys what you could theoretically build, I really like to actually build and test all the PCs that I make and that I recommend to you guys. So the short answer is yes, I would love to do some kind of crazy high-end build. But the problem is I can't see myself spending that kind of money on a system just to do a video for you guys. So one of these days maybe, but not really until I like find a pile of money or something. What is the current camera on which you're shooting your videos? I use the Canon 70D. So this is a great camera for someone on YouTube as it has a flip out screen so I can spin it around and actually be able to see myself when I'm filming, which is a huge help, as well as it has really nice autofocus. So I'm usually not a fan of autofocus on cameras. However, when you're shooting yourself like I'm doing for most of this video, it makes a huge difference. Is too much power supply a bad idea? Like a 750 watt power supply and a mid-range PC build? That's totally fine. So for the budget side, yeah, you're probably paying a little bit too much if your build only needs 300 watts and you have a 750 watt power supply. However, it's not going to hurt anything by having an extra powerful supply. And on top of that, if you ever decide to do some more upgrades, like say add a second graphics card, that can really come in handy. What was your favorite game from last generation consoles? Oh, that's a tough one. Uh, so Super Smash Bros. Brawl is definitely one of those games that I played so much. Uh, Mirror's Edge is one that I don't think a lot of people give enough credit. I mean, yeah, it definitely wasn't a perfect game, but it was so much fun. It was just such a new kind of just game. I don't know. It was just very, very different, and it looked awesome as well. Uh, but I think if I had to pick just one game, hands down, it would be Fallout 3. So I played that game so much. All the DLC, just trying to collect things, just exploring that huge, awesome world. Man, don't even get me started. Fallout 3 is absolutely one of my favorite games of all time. What's your opinion on the new Pokemon remakes of Ruby and Sapphire? Yes. Just... Yes. Will you ever do a Linux build, and have you used Linux? It's been a while, but yeah, I have used Linux before. So as far as actually doing like Linux-focused gaming builds, um, I could, especially obviously with like SteamOS kind of coming and making Linux gaming a much bigger deal. However, for the most part, if you're going to be doing a gaming PC, Windows is still your best overall choice. Now that being said, there's nothing stopping you from putting Linux on pretty much all of my builds. I haven't tested them all with Linux, but for the most part, hardware compatibility is actually pretty solid. So there's really nothing stopping you from picking out one of my current builds and just throwing a copy of Linux on it. What thing do you miss most that you lost in the fire? It's probably going to sound lame, but I really miss my Game Boy Advance SP. So I remember I got it on my 11th birthday, and I was completely mind blown by how cool it was. I mean, it was tiny, it folded up like a laptop, it had a backlit screen, which was just completely crazy to me, because Game Boys always had you kind of leaning in windows, trying to get a little bit of light so you could see the screen. And I seriously kept that thing in my pocket for years and years. So, you know, at the end, I mean, it was all beat up, and, you know, the battery lasted like 20 minutes. But, like, just all the memories I had with that thing, I definitely regret not grabbing it. Austin, how old are you? Even though I do get called 17 every once in a while, I'm actually 21. Will replacing my old laptop drive with an SSD make it run faster? Definitely. So pretty much any computer can benefit from an SSD. So well sure, a hard drive will get the job done. When you add an SSD, everything is just so much quicker, so much more responsive. It's such a nicer experience that even with an older laptop, you can absolutely get a benefit out of it. What 2.1 channel speakers under $200 do you recommend? I really like the Harman Kardon Soundsticks 3. So those are the speakers you see behind me, and I've actually really been enjoying them. So I think one of the big reasons is that they look nice. So yes, of course, speakers just need to sound good, but it definitely helps when they're not some big, ugly, brown piece of plastic sitting on your desk. 
So they look nice and they really sound fantastic. If you guys want more information on them, I'm actually working on a video talking a little bit about some of the tech I use. And I'll definitely be going more in depth on these guys a little bit later on. If you guys have any more questions, you can feel free to hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And as always, those links will be in the description of this video. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.